This is awesome. It's so nice to see you there in the in your cab. Here I am in my cab here in Saskatoon, which is uh, I'd rather be sitting in the buddy seat right <laughs> riding next to you like how we did last fall. But uh, no, hey, it's it's nice to be able to to connect with with each other. And um, I see it's a nice sunny day there in southern Manitoba. Hey. Yes, it's beautiful. There's hardly any wind, and the ground finally dried up after the shot of rain we got on the weekend. So we're yeah. uh, we're in good shape right now. Right on. Just was kind of curious to see, you know, what was new or what was happening on your farm this year. If you're trying anything different, if you've uh, kind of, if you've got, I know you've done trials over the years, right? So, you know, what's uh, what's the plan this year? What do you have on the go? We scaled back our variety trials and our seed trials and are focusing more on fertilizer this year. Okay. We are, oh. we're doing some foliar feed trials and micronutrient trials. Of course, everything is all getting mapped on field view. Yes, everything's in field view. I can show you if you want. Right on. Yeah, that'd be great. So you've uh, field view. It's been working well for you. You had all your seeding, um, all your all your seeding and planting all mapped up and good to go this year too. Yes, we do. I uh, I'll show you this field here. I'm just putting down some product, and uh, here's Sweet. my variety map from this. This is all spring wheat. Okay. And uh, we didn't do any variable rate this year on this field, but I will check my population here. You can see how the population is, varies just on the uh, on the cedar how it's coming out of there. So. Right. Yeah. 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 We're always we're always trying something. Yeah. Uh, I've uh, I've been taught over the years if you're not trying new things, you're you're close to the end of your farming career. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'd like to think I have a long way to go yet. <laughs> well, a young guy like you, right? you got a lot of years ahead of you. <laughs> I, I like to hope so. What would jump out at you as, you know, as that uh, feature or that uh, part of it that you'd say, I cannot live without, you know, this is uh, so important to my farm. I couldn't live without it. Um, I would say definitely getting all my trial data in one format, one formula. Um, one program, I guess, is the word I was looking for. Um, I have, I can overlay my spraying map over top of my har or my yield map, and I can see exactly to the line where I sprayed the product, or I did the fertilizer application with the cedar. And yeah. now it takes the guessing of, oh, is that where the line is? Is that? And it's just all in one spot, and I can click a region report, and it's there, and it's done. It's it's made actually following up on our trials a lot easier to do because it's all mapped out and it's at my fingertips right away in the iPad. Right on. Perfect. Perfect. One cool thing we did this spring is we, uh, we demoed about four different high-speed disks and I mapped Ooh. it with field view when we were going with the disks cool. and I'm hoping to see a yield difference between them and see which one actually agronomically makes me more money. That and that's does. something that isn't really talked about too much and I never really thought of it before this year so hoping yeah. to see some data results from that yeah yeah and you know and that's the kind of stuff that really excites me about it too right is I you know I call it this outside the box thinking right because you know when you think about say a tillage pass or an equipment pass right and looking at the difference of, of one one type or one make to another you know could, could each of them could have a different impact right so and you're going to have that mapped and proven when you're riding across that field with your combine and that so no that is so cool to hear that's no that's that's what we're trying to do is use the program to its fullest potential exactly yeah anything else kind of new or different or exciting happening uh that's really it i'm always trying stuff but i don't don't need everybody to hear what i'm doing <laughs> what would be your what would be your, your your biggest bit of advice you know to, to a brand new farmer that is just signed up or is just getting rolling on it uh, you know from your experience what would you say what, what would be the, the biggest bit of advice that you'd give to them um, I would say take your time and learn the program inside and out and ask questions don't just try and figure it out yourself there is a great resource team behind you. And what I found with most programs that I get started in is the first week, I'm really excited. And I'm trying to figure everything out. Then I hit a roadblock. But just follow up and make sure that you're talking to the support team and 
the sales team to make sure that you're getting the most out of what you're paying for. What I like to think is it's not an $800,000 combine. You're not going to screw it up too bad if you mess around with it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So here's another cool question for you. So when you look at the little green panes, the green boxes on your on your screen, what are your favorite boxes that you like to watch uh, as, you're, as you're rolling? So it changes with each product. I'm okay. just going to go through mine and see here. So I uh, number one box, I have my application, which is my, my tank mix. Then I have my acres per hour. And then I have my field acres that's left to spray. And then uh, I have a place where I can put a drop pin down. And that way I can flag if, hey, there's, there's something wrong with the cedar in this spot or I have a rock. We don't have rocks, but occasionally I want to pick one. Yeah. And yeah, just down down the list, and then I have an acre counter set up, and that's that's how I run the sprayer. When uh, when I'm in the cedar, the planter, those those boxes change. Yeah. it's it's something that's specific to each task. Yeah, well, and you think about the the time that it saves you, you know, dropping that pin at that moment instead of stopping your piece of equipment, getting out, remembering where that area was, right? So it gives you the chance to circle back to and follow up with that, uh, with whatever that situation is, you know, later, further on, right? So exactly, yep, yep, yep. So, yeah, definitely appreciate your your support and your time. Yeah, no, thank you very much for doing this with me. It's uh, it's been good, and thank you for being a good resource to me. Go Bombers! <laughs> <laughs> right on. Thanks, Riley. <laughs>